The stock is Mind Medicine, ticker symbol MMEDF, and it's up over 100% last week. Now, if you remember, I did a video on how to identify stocks in breakout formations last week. If you didn't watch it, I encourage you to do so. It's about 10 minutes long. You do not want to miss this video because it gives you an invaluable skill that every trader needs to know. There should be a link below this. Watch that video. Breakouts are crucial because one, they happen very quickly. You get paid very fast, and it's a way to make sure that your money is working for you. It's a way to make sure you're in stocks that are on the move now, not ones that could move a month or a year later. Now, I walked you through the steps of identifying a breakout, what a textbook breakout looks like, and I want to show you one that's happening right now. Now, here's a look at the chart. Again, the ticker symbol is MMEDF. Now, Mind Medicine is a very small company. It trades for about $160 million. It is a micro cap stock trading over the counter on the pink sheet. It's not something to put your life savings into, but it's an interesting story. Mind Medicine is developing psychedelic treatments for depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues. Now, this stock caught my attention. I IPO'd back in March. But what was interesting is who was backing this stock. If you're a fan of Shark Tank, you know Mr. Wonderful. His name is Kevin O'Leary. He's a seasoned investor, a billionaire, and he is a staunt investor of only owning dividend stocks. Those companies producing cash. He wants a tangible return on his money. He's not one that tends to invest in these woulda, shoulda, coulda, maybe one day down the road, long shot companies. But this is a stock he actually backed with his personal cash, so it caught my attention. Now, the stock IPO, as you see here in the chart, back in March, right around, it hit the market around 25, the usual IPO thing, quick pump, quick dump, and then began to find its value. And I've been watching it ever since. Now, as we look at the volume profile here, pretty clear where the value area was, right? This stock has found acceptance between about the 30 cents and 40 cent mark. Been watching it daily just to see if we get a breakout. And we finally did last week. Now, as, I, as you remember the lessons from last week, there are a couple of things we look for in a breakout pattern. One is a clear resistance level. We have that on this chart. Once the stock kind of settled down, that resistance level right here at about 40 cents per share. Okay, so that's the top of this range we uh, were looking at. Get that adjusted. There you go. And the second is we want to see a compression of volatility. We want these dips to be shallower and shallower and shallower and shallower. We got that 40%, 25%, 17%, 13%, shallower and shallower. And then finally, we wanted to see volume decreasing right up until the day of the explosion. As we look at that volume, as we zoom in here, on that chart. You'll notice it didn't, didn't go down to almost nothing, but look at the big volume bars. We're going lower and lower and lower and lower, and the daily volume was sort of decreasing on its way uh, to a breakout period. Okay, And then here was the breakout. What do we want to see? I told you we want to see a clear break above our resistance level. I want to see it done on extremely high volume, multiple times the daily volume, and look what we got. Our average daily volume was about 400 Four to 500,000 shares a day. Then we saw 1.6, 4.7 million, 10 times our daily average volume. It broke clear through our resistance level at 40 cents, and it ran up to a high at 83 cents, and has since pulled back just a little bit. So a textbook breakout pattern, exactly what we covered last week. And anyone who took this is a stock that, again, you're not sitting around waiting for it to churn, hoping next month or next quarter or next year it's running. It's a stock that takes off immediately. You bought it at 40. The next day it's at 47. The next day it's at 52. It's at 70. It's at 83. And in a week's period, you're seeing your money double. So this is what we're looking for. And these are the kind of stocks that you can identify by following volume. Look, you guys know that I follow this volume roadmap very, very closely. And stocks generally are going to go in one of two phases. They're either going to be in a price acceptance phase, meaning buyers and sellers are somewhat in agreement. We're building volume. Notice the big bell curve out here on our volume profile. We're in a period of acceptance. When something changes, when the news comes out or uh, a development comes out that, that forces investors to revalue these stocks, either higher or lower, 
they go into what's known as price discovery phase, and they break out and they look for a new value. They're going to go up until sellers step in. They're going to go down until buyers step in as the market tries to reestablish a value for what that stock is worth. And that is when you make money on these stocks. That's why we watch these points of control. It's why we watch this volume to know what stage we're in, when we're leaving one, and when we can ride a train higher as we as the stock evolves into its next phase of price discovery. If you want to learn more about not just this stock, but the entire methodology of how we're doing this, how we're using volume, how we're using this roadmap to identify high probabilities to enter stocks, high probabilities to exit stocks, when you want to leave a stock alone, when it's just churning, how to know when it's breaking out and beginning to run higher. I've got on-demand training covering my trading method using volume. And as I said over and over again, I think 99% of indicators out there are garbage. Stochastics, MACDs, Fibonacci's. In my opinion, most of this stuff is useless. Fibonacci was, was created hundreds of years ago. By the way, initially created to track the growth of rabbit population. So forgive me if I don't think it's going to predict stock prices in the year 2020. The only true accurate indicator, the only thing that really shows you what's actually happening in the market where the big money, the institutions, the hedge funds are buying and selling stocks is volume. That's your secret window. That's your look behind the curtain. That's how you're going to determine what's really happening with the stock, where the buying is really going to take place and where the real opportunities are. So go ahead right now, click that link below, watch this on-demand training video. I promise it's going to be worth your time. It'll change the way you invest. My goal is to make you a profitable, proficient trader in as little time as possible.